So you're playing around on a poetry synthesizer, and one of three things comes to mind. One, I'm an expert in Japanese instruments, and I know the origin behind all of the devices and the voices on this synthesizer. Two, I understand some of these voices, and some of the instruments on the device make sense to me. Three, I don't know how to read Japanese, and I don't know what any of this means. So today we're going to demystify the voices on the poetry synths. So we're not doing a device comparison, a voice comparison, saying this device has this voice, this device has that voice. I compiled a list of all the voices across all of the poetry synthesizers and cut out all of the repeats. For instance, this is the conductor Rokusai. It has three voices. One, the basic Shigin voice. Two, Shakuhachi three, Kodo. Those three voices already exist on the ST60 as well as some other devices, so I'm cutting the Rokusai out completely. The first thing we're going to do is go over a list of all of those voices that you can possibly get on these devices and an example of the device you would get it on. Step two, once we have a list of all those voices, is to look at the actual instrument. I'll give you a clip of that instrument being played on the poetry synth, and then I'll give you a clip of that instrument actually being played. It's up to you to decide whether it's a good representation of the instrument, if you like one versus the other. The goal here is to give you a baseline so that if you want more, you know what to look for. You know it exists, you know what it is, and you'll know how to look it up. So we start with the ST50, which as a baseline has a lot of devices. We have the basic Kodo, which is a 13 string Kodo. Then we have Ju Nanagen, which is 17 strings. It's referring to a 17 string bass Kodo. Then we have the Gu Qin, the 7 string Chinese zither. The Suiko voice is named because it's on the Suiko device, but it's just the basic Shigin voice. This is just a basic tone that you use when you're practicing your poetry. That said, I treat it as kind of modeling a voice. Chimes and glockenspiel are a little easier to look up. The next three, sorry to oversimplify, are similar to a flute clarinet. We have the shakuhachi, the shinobu flute, and the no flute. The show pipes are like the sickest thing ever. They're kind of like a mouth pipe organ. Kokyu has three strings. You use a bow. Comes in a couple different varieties and flavors. Then oboe, strings, horn, and chorus are all pretty easy to look up. Now most of the percussion is percussion, so I won't go over all of it. You hit it different, it looks a little different, so on and so forth. I do think there's two worth clarifying though. The first is this one, doda. This is referring to a body strike or hitting someone with a wooden stick, aka in kendo. The second one is kihada. Now if you translate this, you're going to get two things, yellow fin tuna and cork tree. And you're going to say, well, obviously it's the cork tree. You take the wood and you hit the wood together, right? Wrong. It's neither. This should be kihada, not kihada. Interesting enough, they misspelled it on the device. Unless, of course, spelling has changed over time, but I'm going to guess that they just got it wrong because it's a foreign instrument. So this is a jawbone, generally of a horse, used pretty commonly in Central and South America. You hit it, you rattle it, you brush across the top, it makes really cool sounds. Next, we'll talk about the ST100. I'll throw up a list of all the voices that it covers, and what we'll notice here is it only has two new voices that we haven't covered before. We see the shamisen, or sangen, pop up, and we see the pizzicato. I'm so sorry for the pronunciation. The ST60 is a little interesting. It has the MIDI interface through which you can get percussion. This covers the same range of instruments, but you get more strike types and more tonality out of it. As far as the main voices on this go, we've actually seen all of these before, I just felt it was worth a mention of the percussion differences. Looking at the ST20, we have the pipe organ. We've again already seen the shakuhachi and kodo. And then we have the microsonic shinsekodo. Now for the main devices, this is the first time we see the hichiriki and the biwa. The hichiriki is another flute clarinet combo, and the biwa is a pot-bellied guitar. Further research on the topic will yield you how terrible those descriptions are. For percussion, we add on the kakko hourglass drum, and then we also interestingly add on two shouts. These are literally written on the device as eo shout and o shout. They're pretty classic and you'll recognize them. Another quick note, in addition to the Shinsekoro, Microsonic also made the Hogaku Senka. Between the ST100 and the Shinsekoro, though, there are no new devices to cover on. Just wanted to mention this one here for completeness, since it's a little less known. And that leads us to our final list of voices. Yay! Hooray! Yay!
Now for your patience, you shall be rewarded with alternating clips of me playing the sound on the poetry synths, and then a sound of the actual instrument.
なので。If you enjoyed, then like and subscribe for support or samples, Patreon site. If you hate my content, I will not lie to the corner I go where I will cry.